Don Adams was a renowned icon of television. Recognized for his impeccable comedic timing and unforgettable portrayal of the lovable yet bumbling secret agent Maxwell Smart in Get Smart. Join us as Faxverse presents Don Adams Confirmed His Regret After Years on TV. In the bustling metropolis of Manhattan, New York, on April 13, 1923, Donald James Yarmy entered the world, later known professionally as Don Adams. His father, William Yarmy, hailed from Hungarian Jewish descent, while his mother, Consuelo Yarmy, had Irish American roots. Don and his brother Dick were raised with a mix of religious influences, as Don followed their mother's Catholic faith, while Dick embraced their father's Jewish faith. Completing the family was older sister Gloria Ella Yarmy, who made her own mark in the entertainment world as a writer, eventually contributing even to an episode of Get Smart. Leaving behind his studies at New York City's DeWitt Clinton High School, Don embarked on a different path, finding employment as a theater usher. In his own words, formal education held little appeal for him. From this jumping-off point, his journey was set to unfold, eventually taking him from humble beginnings of a theater usher to the dazzling heights of stardom, where he would forever imprint his name on the world of entertainment, particularly in comedy. In the latter part of 1941, Don made a significant decision and enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps. After reporting to the 1st Training Battalion in New River, North Carolina, he was assigned to the I Company of the 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines, based in San Diego. In May 1942, Adams and his unit were transported to Samoa for further training before being thrust into the thick of the Battle of Guadalcanal in August 1942. While there is an urban legend suggesting he sustained combat injuries, it's worth noting he didn't suffer wounds in battle. But he did contract blackwater fever, a severe complication of malaria notorious for its high fatality rate. Evacuated from the area, Adams spent over a year in a Navy hospital in Wellington, New Zealand on the road to recovery. Following that, he served as a Marine drill instructor in the U.S., where he held the rank of corporal. In 1947, Adams embarked on a new chapter in his personal life by marrying Adelaide Constance Ephantis, affectionately known to him as Dell. Adelaide was a singer who performed under the name Adelaide Adams. As performers were called for auditions in alphabetical order, Adams decided to adopt his wife's surname. To support his growing family, which now included three daughters, he took on various roles as a commercial artist and restaurant cashier. His foray into television began in 1954, when he achieved success on Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts, impressing audiences with a stand-up comedy act penned by his childhood friend, Bill Dana. Throughout the late 50s, he made frequent appearances on The Steve Allen Show, where Bill was part of the writing team. From 1961 to 63, Adams became a regular cast member of NBC's The Perry Como Show, being part of the Kraft Music Hall Players. Additionally, he secured a role on the NBC sitcom The Bill Dana Show, portraying a well-intentioned but clumsy hotel detective named Byron Glick. Get smart. In a world inundated by popular spy dramas like The Man from UNCLE, The Avengers, and I Spy, comedy virtuosos Mel Brooks and Buck Henry took up the mantle, ignited by the vision of producers Daniel Melnick and David Susskind. Their mission to concoct a sensational antidote called Get Smart, a whimsical fusion of two iconic film franchises, James Bond and The Pink Panther, injecting espionage with a hearty dose of laughter. Originally conceived as a platform for the talented Tom Poston on ABC, fate intervened, and Get Smart found its true home at NBC. And who better to bring the clumsy secret agent Max to life than Don Adams, who was seamlessly cast due to his existing contract with the network. It was 1965, and the show burst onto the scene, captivating hearts near and far. Joining Adams in the limelight was the captivating Barbara Feldon, portraying Max's vibrant and alluring partner, Agent 99, who would eventually become his wife. Despite a notable age difference, the on-screen chemistry between Adams and Feldon cracked with electricity, fostering a genuine friendship that transcended the show's tenure. With his portrayal of Agent 86, Adams breathed vivacity into the character, channeling the essence of esteemed actor William Powell through a clipped speaking style. Feldon affectionately acknowledged, quote, 
Don's larger-than-life depiction of the character made him irresistibly imitable, fueling the widespread enthusiasm for Agent 86. Adams sowed the seeds of catchphrases that blossomed into cultural touchstones, some already nestled within his comedic repertoire prior to the show's inception, from the iconic Sorry About That Chief to the legendary Would You Believe, and the timeless Missed It By That Much, Adams etched an indelible mark on the tapestry of pop culture. Beyond his formidable acting prowess, Adams assumed the roles of producer and director for 13 episodes of Get Smart, further showcasing his multifaceted talents. His exceptional artistry garnered well-deserved acclaim, securing Emmy nominations for four consecutive seasons, spanning 1966 to 69, in the category of Outstanding Continued Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role in a Comedy Series. Triumphantly, he grasped the coveted trophy on three occasions, a testament to his comedic brilliance. As the tides of television evolved and the appetite for spy series waned, Get Smart bid a fond farewell to NBC, finding its final season on CBS. But with diminishing ratings, the beloved show concluded its unforgettable run in 1970 after a remarkable 138 episodes. Get Smart was a mixed blessing. After the resounding success of Get Smart, Don Adams found himself in a unique position, a mixed blessing of sorts. The role of Maxwell Smart had catapulted him to stardom, becoming an iconic part of television history. But it also led to a certain typecasting that posed challenges for his career. In an interview from the 90s, Adams candidly admitted that while Get Smart was a blessing in many ways, it also became a double-edged sword limiting the range of roles he could explore. In this sense, starring in the series ended up becoming one of the biggest regrets in life. Not that he would take it back, of course, but it did prove to be a severely limiting factor in his career that he was forced to eventually come to terms with. Eager to embark on new ventures after Get Smart's cancellation, Don set his sights on fresh projects. But his post-Get Smart endeavors encountered varying degrees of success. While he ventured into new comedic territory with the short-lived series The Partners in 1971 and tried his hand at hosting a game show called Don Adams' Screen Test in 1975, his aspirations to revive the Get Smart series in the 80s kept getting shot down. Adams took a leap into the movie industry with 1980's The Nude Bomb. Unfortunately, this venture failed to make a splash at the box office, leaving Adams scrambling to find something new to set his sights on. The typecasting resulting from his portrayal of Agent 86 held Adams back from fully showcasing his versatile talent. Fortunately, however, it also opened up new opportunities, particularly in the realm of voice acting. Adams found solace in lending his distinctive voice to animated characters. He achieved notable success as the voice of the title character in Inspector Gadget, which became one of his most recognizable roles. The beloved bumbling detective showcased Adams' ability to captivate audiences solely through his vocal talents alone, proving his skill set wasn't merely limited to physical comedy. Adams ended up becoming one of the foremost contributors to the animated series' success, spanning its original run from 1983 to 1985 and subsequent spin-offs, including Gadget Boy and Inspector Gadget's Field Trip. Eventually, Adams retired from voicing the character in 1999 concluding his long tenure with the beloved character. While Adams continued to pursue various on-screen projects, such as the films Jimmy the Kid and Back to the Beach, he also explored television opportunities. In 1985, he joined the cast of a sitcom in Canada called Check It Out, a show set in a supermarket that ran for three years but struggled to find success in the U.S. Despite the challenges, Adams developed a rapport with co-star Gordon Clapp who would go on to gain recognition for his own acting endeavors. In the 90s, a reboot of Get Smart surfaced, bringing the world of control back to television screens. But Adams' involvement in the reboot was relatively minor, leaving fans longing for more of their beloved Maxwell Smart. He expressed dissatisfaction with how the reboot was handled by Fox, highlighting the challenges of reimagining a beloved series while staying true to his essence. Sadly, September 25, 2005, the world bid farewell to the comedic genius of Don Adams. Adams' legacy extends far beyond the world of Maxwell Smart. He demonstrated his versatility as an actor, comedian, and voice artist, bringing joy to audiences across generations. His unique brand of humor, combined with his impeccable timing, 
ensured his place in the pantheon of comedy legends. As we reflect on his life and career, let's remember Don with the utmost respect and admiration. He was more than just the iconic age in 86, he was a consummate performer who left an unforgettable mark on the world of television. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Don Adams admitted to regretting his time spent as Agent 86 on Get Smart? Let us know in the comments section below.